Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Master Paul, joining you live and making some last-minute adjustments to the lighting and the height of this. I um, have to make some more adjustments. Ah. Anyway, welcome. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Give me just a moment to make some adjustments. See if this works. That's a little bit better. Okay. So welcome everybody. This is Master Paul. And today's live stream is on Da I, the greatest love. I'm going to have to grab one or two books to make this a little better. Give me a moment. go okay that is much better in a generalized sense it's not as compressed and I'm looking at eye level okay thank you for your patience <clears throat> so thank you for joining today my name is Master Paul and today's live stream is Da I the greatest love and understanding further the nature of Da I there's always great opportunities and great lessons that can be learned on this subject. And today, we are going to receive just a few more of them. Da Ai is a Mandarin Chinese word. A da is greatest. Ai, A-I, is love, greatest love. And so today, I'll be spending some time uh, in, enlightening you with some of the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us on this subject matter. So for those of you that are just um, traipsing through, not sure if you uh, have time to watch this, it is a very valuable uh, slice of wisdom. Now it is also shared uh, in Master Shah's uh, books. He has brought to humanity the 10 Da, the 10 greatest qualities. And each of these qualities we'll be talking a little bit about today as well as of course I, the greatest love, so we can further understand the nature of it. So I'm very grateful for all those who have joined, all those who will join living in the future. If you do have to run away, you do have to take care of other responsibilities and you're interested in this, make sure you like and subscribe and then you'll know when I go live in the future. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. Facebook's algorithms are a bit funky. They decide who they want to share my lives with. So welcome Dana, welcome Archana. Welcome Monica Spiegel, welcome also uh, Sarah MacArthur, and welcome uh, Monica Dane, welcome Melissa and Kristen Rojas, aloha, welcome Sarah, welcome also to Peggy Blake and Daniel Hansen, welcome Jennifer Hewlin and Diana Victoria. Thank you all for coming and thank you also for hitting on the share button. Thursdays is a little bit slower live stream for me. Tuesday, this last Tuesday, I normally have my live stream, but I was unable to uh, use it. And yes, Kristen, I know I don't have my microphone on. That's because I moved and I cannot locate my microphone. So I'm operating without it. But in the meantime, I'm sure you can hear me just not quite as well since I'm only two feet away from my telephone. Welcome Lisa, welcome Peggy, welcome Elizabeth White. And so, um, Da I is what we'll be talking about today for those that just tuned in. The nature of Da I, the greatest love. So let us connect while we are waiting for others to attend. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is a hand mudra position that Master Shah has brought to humanity. We drop our left hand in front of our heart center and our right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes and I will call in the beings of light to prepare for today's live stream. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, all committees in heaven serving the plan of the light side. 
Dear uh, Heaven, Dao, Source, Generals and Soldiers, Heaven, oh. Dao, Source, Animals. Heaven has many Heaven's animals. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and invite you to be present at this time. We are deeply honored and grateful for your presence and your beauty. And we thank you for your presence here today. Dear the soul of Da I, the greatest love, the Da I calligraphies, all of those that Master Shah has released to humanity, we love you, we honor you, we respect you. We ask for your presence today as well. Dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, all the masters, angels, healing angels, archangels, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, bodhisattvas, buddhas, Beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Kuan Yin, beloved Amitofu, dear beloved Krishna, Vishnu, dear beloved Ganesha, and all other beings of light, serving the plan of the light side. We love you all, honor, respect you all. Ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence at this time to serve in whatever way is most appropriate. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you all, respect you all, and we invite you to be present at this time. We invite all souls in all universes to chant this Source Soul Song for a few minutes, to set the energy, to gather hearts and souls together, to align our hearts and souls. So let us all communicate with love, peace and harmony chanting together. For those that are new, this is a mantra. It has been transmitted in over 40 languages and you can download it at lovepeaceharmony.org. They even have an app you can put on your smartphone. Let us begin. chant one more time because that's what my guidance says so please continue to chant with me lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li lula lula Love, peace, 
and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How? How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Aloha, Sherry White. Aloha, Courtney. Welcome also, uh, Mahansuk. Welcome Archana, welcome Danta, welcome Katie, and welcome also to Monica Spiegel. Welcome Malagupta, and Neil Levinson, welcome Lynn, uh, Lynn, Lisa Zarniak, welcome Brandy, and welcome to Peggy Blake, and uh, Diane Victoria, anyone else whose names they may have missed, forgive me. Thank you all for coming, thank you for joining for today's wisdom teachings and blessings. Very important to remain for the blessings. So da'ai, what is da'ai and what is the greatest love and what is the nature of da'ai and the greatest love? Well, I'll be reading and teaching directly from this newest book that just came out. It's called The Greatest Love and I recognize that's backwards in your camera. Uh, and it was just recently re released by Dr. and Master Shah and several of his top teachers. Uh, it's a very powerful little book. I tell you, you keep this book with you. It will protect you if you're driving in the car. It will be a source of wisdom, a source of healing. It will be a source of blessings for you to bless others. There is so much power in this little book that you will truly have no idea unless you decide to get it. And no, I'm not promoting the book. I'm just promoting the, uh, the blessings and the power and the wisdom that comes with it. Those just happen to be in a book that happen to be very transferable and easy to use. So, anyway, for those of you that are new, my teacher, Master Shaw, is a world-renowned uh, healer. He is a master, and he is responsible for bringing to humanity the Ten Da. The Ten Da are the Ten Greatest Qualities. They were released in 2013. I'm going to read something to you about that just now in a little bit. But they are the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest light, the greatest humility, greatest harmony, and greatest flourishing, greatest service, greatest gratitude, and greatest enlightenment. And each one of these books will be eventually be released on each of these subject matters. But each of these ten qualities serve our soul journey. We all have different levels of awakening to each of these qualities. The I is the first quality. And when we incorporate the greatest love into our life on a natural basis, we can transform literally every aspect of our life. There is not a single area, there is not, an in, there is not a single... Um, experience in our life, be it a financial pain or suffering, or relationship pain or suffering, or any other form of blockage that shows up in our life that cannot be transformed with the I. Now this is not necessarily something that people understand. So the subject matter of today is the nature of the I, the nature of the greatest love. <clears throat> so let's go a little bit deeper into that. How is it that the greatest love can heal my health issue? How is it that the greatest love can resolve my financial blockages? How can the greatest love fix anything in my life? Well, the wisdom goes very deep on this subject matter. Love, and the greatest love, is that which you and I are born from. Literally, we are born from the womb of the greatest love. And being born from that means that we are born from that nature, that originality, that frequency, that source. Any pain, physical pain, emotional pain, relationship pain, financial pain, loss of job pain, any pain is separation from the source of that which we were born. Think about it. If we remained heart to heart, soul to soul, at the 100% level, 
with our beloved Creator, our Mother, our Father, our Creator. <laughs> if we remained in that frequency of the greatest love, could we even be touched? Could we even be impacted negatively? Could we possibly be even bothered by anything? We're just floating in bliss in the greatest love. How could we possibly be bothered by anything? If a love relationship went south for the winter, those who are in the greatest love with their divine creator would not be phased even a little bit because they would know that love is not dependent upon another. Love is, is, is natural and love is part and parcel of what we came from. And so love can and does melt all blockages. Let's read a little bit and find out a little bit more wisdom on this. Now this is from chapter 1. What is the greatest love? Da I. Da means greatest. I means love. Da I means the greatest love. Human love is limited. To love unconditionally has been the highest calling from the greatest teachers of all traditions throughout history. Da I is the first of ten sacred qualities. I am honored to share the deep wisdom and significance of the ten Da qualities. This is Master Shaw speaking. I am reading his words. <clears throat> In 2013, about four years ago, while I was meditating, I received the ten Da's, which are nature of the divine, the Tao, is the nature of the source. What is the Tao? The Tao is the source of all creation. Another word for God, another word for creator. Well, don't square your head. These sacred qualities include Da I, the greatest love, Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness, Da Tzu Bei, the greatest compassion, Da Guang Ming, the greatest light, Da Chen Bei, greatest humility, Da He She, greatest harmony. Da Chang Sheng, greatest flourishing. Da Gan Un, greatest gratitude. Da Fu Wu means the greatest success, a greatest service, excuse me. And then Da Yuan Man, the greatest enlightenment. These ten Da's were received by Master Shah in 2013, meaning he didn't make them up with his mind. Through my spiritual communication channels, I have received four sacred phrases to further explain the ten Da qualities. I will share them each later on in this book. Heaven explained to him at that time that the ten Da's are the nature of the Tao source, the creator, the creator. These are the nature of the creator. Heaven explained this to him. <clears> that They also are the nature of all kinds of saints, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Archangels, and more in heaven. What do we hope to communicate with? You know, all of us hope to have Jesus show up in front of us, have Buddha show up in front of us, so we can have direct communication. God. Why? Because they carry this effervescence of the highest love, the highest frequencies. We all want that connectivity. But what we fail to understand is, they didn't get there accidentally. They got to be at the level that they are at because they practiced it as a human being first. They practiced it in real life conditions. They practiced the greatest love in the face of people that are very rude and disrespectful. Not easy, but that's what everyone had to do. What did Jesus say? Turn the other cheek. That's what the greatest love means. It means seeing the purity in someone's heart regardless of the poison comes from their mouth. It is rising above and seeing that they are souls like you, from the same source creator like you. Every soul came from the same source creator. Those that we look at and call negative souls, those that we look at and call positive souls, they all were born from the same source creator. And they're all on a trajectory back to that creator. And in that process, they are awakening. If they are in a place of negativity, we have a choice of what we bring to the table to see them with. The great masters, the Buddhas, the Jesuses, the Krishnas, the Vishnus, the great masters of all time, bring these great wisdoms and tell us how do we approach these imbalances. We approach it with love.
compassion, light. Generally speaking, human beings do not embody these ten qualities, he goes on to say, in every moment. But everyone has these natures within them already. We already have these. We just need to shine up that rock until it polishes a little bit more. We do not express these qualities freely because we have Shen, Qi, Jing blockages and they have become polluted. Shen, Qi, Jing. Our Shen, Qi, Jing has become polluted. What is Shen? Shen is soul, heart, and mind. They have become polluted. What is Qi? Qi is our energy. What is Jing? Jing is matter. So our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter have become polluted. So Master Sha has a, has a secret, and it's in the form of a parable. If a fish lives in polluted water, think about it, a fish living in polluted water, right? The fish will become sick and die, right? They get little things growing on them and they die. What about the human being? How about us? How about our health? How about our emotional traumas, our cancers, things like that? These are Shen, Qi, Jing blockages. These are pollutions on our soul, on our heart. Selfishness, self, you know, a lack of selflessness, greed, uh, jealousies, right? Negativities. These are pollutions on our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. So if a fish lives in polluted water, the fish will get sick and die. This is a very simple fact. To save the fish, we can save the fish. It's possible. We can save the fish. How? We will purify the water. Start dipping in there, cleaning out the old water, put in fresh water. Clean out the old, put in fresh water. If you purify the water, the fish will live. The same is true for the human being. Human beings are sick because they live in polluted environments. It is necessary and important to address all of the pollutions in our world. Air pollution, water pollution, food pollution, and more. But the most vital pollution to address is the Shen Qi Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter pollutions. Because the pollution accounts for much of the sickness that we see today. People think they're sick because of the air pollution, the water pollution. No, those are side effects. They're side effects because if people were compassionate, if people were loving, if people were uh, um, enlightened, they would not pollute the water. They would not pollute the air and the food. So the karma, the negative mindsets, the greed, the corruption, the lack of tenda qualities in all of human beings brought about the food, air, water pollution. One besets the other. One preceded the other. A lot of people don't think about it that way. Because this pollution accounts for much of the sickness we see today, to help people be happier and healthier, purify their Shen Qi Jing. We have many types of mistakes, many types of harms that we have brought to others through our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Some are intentional, some are unintentional. Because of these mistakes, we have accumulated negative karma and Shen blockages, soul, heart, mind, body blockages. Karma is the cause and effect, action and reaction, the pain and suffering we have caused others to us in the form of lessons. They come to us in the form of lessons. This is spiritual debt. <clears throat> On the other hand, we have created good karma as well. And the good we have done, including our actions that have helped and served others. With our positive thoughts. We don't have to just do actions. We can have positive thoughts. We can smile. Loving and encouraging words spoken can very much positively affect people. These are all natures of da'ai. Love. Positive comments. Communication. Smiles. This is love. This is da'ai. Many people believe that what goes around comes around. Heart pollution Blockages include greed, jealousy, anger, lack of wisdom, selfishness, behavior, speech, and thoughts of selfishness and other impurities of the heart. Mind pollution and blockages include negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego attachments, and more. Because human beings have these blockages, we need the tenda. 
the ten da are the most important wisdoms. So what is the ten da? There is da I. Da I is the greatest love. And I'm looking for the exact words from Master Shah's teachings on da I. Give me just a moment. Da'ai boosts stamina, vitality, and immunity. It brings health and happiness. It brings physical, mental, emotional, physical, body happiness. Rejuvenates the soul, heart, mind, and body. It harmonizes relationships. Da'ai, the greatest love, actually can create flourishing. It can create financial blessings for you. <clears throat> it can increase your intelligence. How can the greatest love increase your intelligence? Intelligence blockages are karma blockages. When we are loving, kind, compassionate to others, karma blockages are released. Therefore, more heavenly wisdom comes in. Our intelligence is increased. It can open our spiritual channels. Exact same reasons. Enlighten as soul, heart, mind, and body. When we chant the I, the purest, this is important because we're going to be chanting shortly, when we chant the I, the purest, highest frequency of the original source creator enters our emotional, physical bodies. Remember, what are we born from? We are birthed from source creator. Source creator embodies the ten das and especially the greatest love. When we chant the I, the greatest love, what are we doing? We are aligning our soul, heart, mind, and body to the source, soul, heart, mind, and body. Therefore, those frequencies come to nurture us and bathe us like heaven's nectar. Those um, blessings and frequencies wash away our blockages. Da Dao Jurjin, Mandarin Chinese, means the big way is extremely simple. Who would have thought chanting Da Ai, the greatest love, would be healing, would be transforming? Who would have thought if I just chant this 10, 15, 20 minutes, that not only will I feel better, but I'll actually self-clear karma. <clears throat> this is extremely simple wisdom, but extremely important wisdom to practice on a consistent basis. Aloha and welcome Rhonda Garner. Aloha and welcome Crystal, Marianne Melvin. Welcome Abdullah, welcome Archana, welcome Erica. And welcome also to Cheryl. And welcome Jamie Vargas. Anyone else I may have missed. Thank you. So let us move forward in this chanting and service. I will use the Da I Dao Source Calligraphy to serve you. The Da I Dao Source Calligraphy was placed in this book. Master Shah has printed it on the front of this book as well. And he has placed it within this book. And people do not have enough wisdom in most cases. This is the calligraphy within the book. To understand, I have taught other live streams how power can be transmitted into paper, into calligraphies. Go back, watch those, learn more. Uh, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, you have to taste it, as Master Shah would say. If you want to know if this is true, you have to experience it. So let us experience the Da I, the greatest love. <clears throat> I'm being guided um, to offer, well, I will offer a reading afterwards. So, we will apply the four powers. We place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. It's just like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. <clears throat> Let us connect. Repeat after me if it is comfortable. Dear my beloved divine creator, all layers of all light beings in the divine Tao and Source. Dear God, dear Buddha, dear Jesus, dear my heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, dear my own soul, I love you all, honor, respect you, appreciate you all. Could you please bless me today? For my request, as appropriate, dear the soul of Da I, 
the Da'ai calligraphy, the greatest love blessings within the Da'ai mantra and within the Da'ai calligraphy. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. As I chant Da I, as Master Paul traces the Da I calligraphy, could you please bless my individual requests? I am extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now make your individual request. Dear my beloved Creator, I am deeply honored to receive your blessings through this chanting, through this mantra, through this calligraphy, for the condition of you can state whatever the condition happening in your life where there is blockage. State one only, though. And if you are new, I recommend you request something that is measurable, like pain. So you can measure the difference. And then offer your gratitude. I am extremely grateful for any blessings I receive. I am extremely grateful for the lessons that I have received. Now we do forgiveness. Dear God, Thou, Source, all souls in all time, if I have caused you suffering, especially for the area that I am requesting, if I have caused you this same form of suffering that I am now suffering, then I sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart and I ask your unconditional forgiveness. I also offer my unconditional forgiveness to all the souls that have brought this suffering to me. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Let us chant Da I together to release these blockages. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so now I will invoke this Da I calligraphy and I will trace it to serve you. You will chant Da I with me. Keep your eyes closed. Visualize light, love, coming to your area of request. <clears throat> if it is a physical body part, that's easy to visualize light and love coming to the area. If it's a relationship issue, see light and love coming to the, the both of you, the two souls. If it's a financial issue, see light and love coming to your whole body, your heart center, and blessing and clearing blockages. Same thing with other things, if not mentioned. See light coming to your heart center, clearing blockages. So let me invoke this calligraphy and then I will serve you. Dear beloved, uh, Da I calligraphy, greatest love, the countless layers of divine Tao, source, temple, souls, treasures, blessings, heavens, general soldiers, heavens, animals, and more, transmitted within this most blessed Da I calligraphy, original calligraphy connected to this image. We love you, honor you, respect you. I bow my head to you. We ask most humbly and sincerely for you to please come out to offer blessings to all those watching today live, all those watching on the recording. Bless them as appropriate for their individual requests. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so with your eyes closed, with your heart, offer your greatest love and let us chant. Da I 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 da
after me dear my beloved divine creator dear all humanity I love you I really love you please forgive me please forgive my ancestors my lack of da I my lack of love Please forgive my negative thoughts, my actions that were offered from a place that was not of pure love. Please forgive my selfishness, my lack of purity. 
dear my beloved divine creator please bless me to open my heart open my love please bless me to release my pain and return to your heart of pure love please bless my heart and soul to realign to your heart and soul my beloved divine creator I am extremely grateful thank you thank you thank you let us continue I Continue to repeat, dear all the souls of my family members, dear my beloved mother and father, brothers and sisters, all my beloved children, grandchildren, grandparents, please forgive me my lack of love. Please forgive me my poor communication. I love you all deeply and I sincerely apologize my mistakes, my impure thoughts, words and actions. I forgive you unconditionally, my beloved family, for the pain you may have brought me in this lifetime, in all lifetimes. Let us forgive each other and move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Die, 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 Dear my beloved relationships, all of them from this lifetime, my love relationships, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, ex-husbands, ex-wives, current boyfriends, current girlfriends, current husbands, current wives, please come. I love you all. I deeply respect each of you even the ones I have held pain with. 
I wish to sincerely apologize. Any pain, especially pain in the heart, that I may have caused you in this lifetime, in any lifetime, please forgive me any failures I have brought to our relationship. I recognize I may have brought unpleasant hurt in previous times because I have been hurt in this lifetime. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for any pain and suffering that you may have brought to me in our relationships and I ask your unconditional forgiveness for any pain and suffering I may have brought to you in our relationships let us move forward in love peace and harmony die, 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 die. Continue to repeat, dear all souls in all lifetimes, <clears throat> all souls in this lifetime, if I have harmed you and your flourishing, if I have brought conditions upon you by negative or inappropriate thoughts, words, or actions that have harmed your flourishing, your finances, your ability to earn income, your ability to pay for your livelihood. If I, through my ego, power, corruption, if any of my ancestors, through ego, power, or corruption, has created harm in your finances, in your flourishing, I cannot apologize deeply enough. I know that there is a great possibility that I and my ancestors have made huge mistakes with finances, greed, corruption, and more, because I have suffered immensely with my finances. And I recognize it is because we may have harmed others in previous times. Please forgive me and my ancestors. I promise to help make others happier and healthier and not make the same mistakes again. I promise to be more selfless and less selfish. I forgive all the souls who have brought harm to my financial conditions and my flourishing. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Continue to chant. Die, 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 die. Yeah. 
they're all souls, continue to repeat, who I or my ancestors have physically harmed, created conditions in which you have immense suffering, physical pain, cancer, organs or systems that are failing, all of the souls who I or my ancestors may have harmed because we held from you good quality food or water. Maybe we harmed your crops or created conditions in which your loved ones were unable to have food in their lives. Whatever the source of the pain that you have experienced, whatever the source of the health conditions you have experienced, if I or my ancestors have created that for you, I cannot bow my head enough in regret and in sorrow and sadness. I deeply, 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 humbly and sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart the mistakes we have made. I would not wish this suffering upon any soul anywhere in time. I would not wish this suffering upon anyone. I wish you to know I have learned my lessons. My ancestors and I will do our best to not make the same mistakes again. We promise to help make others happier and healthier. Please forgive us. We forgive you unconditionally. Let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Let us continue. Thank you, thank you. Let us bow our head nine times to our beloved Creator, Divine Dao Source, to Master Shah, to the soul of the Da Ai calligraphy and the Da Ai mantra. Let us bow our head to all of the beings of light who offer their blessings, their service. Let us bow our heads to all of the souls who have forgiven us and our ancestors through this chanting and practice today. And let us bow our heads for the opportunity to have this wisdom that we can practice each and every day to remove our blockages in our life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So aloha to everyone who came in in the last 10-15 minutes. We just chanted for almost a full half hour. You received beyond huge blessings. So make sure that you offer your gratitude to the Divine Tao Source. To Master Shah, because he's the one that brought these blessings, these calligraphies to us. So you can share your experience. I'm going to do a short flow as to what transpired with this blessing. <clears throat> so dear the soul of heaven, could you please borrow my mouth? Give everyone some guidance and insights as to what transpired with this half hour 
of tracing and blessing. How? This is the one known as Jesus. It is my honor to share with each of you that on this day your lives were saved. That may sound a bit overwhelming to hear. How can it be that each of your lives were saved with this chanting? Your beloved Creator's greatest love for each of you is beyond your measure, beyond your comprehension, but not beyond your understanding. For with each realignment to your source, it is a natural occurrence that unconditional love will come to you and melt your blockages. On this day, your beloved Divine Creator came to each of you, purified your souls, hearts, minds, and bodies, released countless Shen Qi Jing blockages. Some of you, your life was saved for health issues. Some of you would have had a car accident. Some of you would have died in a natural disaster. Some of you, one of you would have died in an airplane accident. Others of you would have taken your own life from grief. To say that your beloved Creator loves you is the largest understatement possible. For our beloved Father's love is of the highest, of the most pure, and of the greatest of all loves. The wisest of those amongst you will comprehend this more in each moment and spend as much time as possible in His love. For to be any place else is to be out of alignment, and to be in your Divine Creator's heart is to be free of suffering. It is my great honor to have delivered this message to you today. I love you all unconditionally. How, oh, how, oh, how. Oh. Thank you, beloved Jesus, for that beautiful message. Wow, that was an amazing message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was great to have his message come through me. That was like a, a bath of love. <laughs> thank you, heaven, and thank you for the life saving blessings. Okay. So normally I don't offer a half hour of chanting and service with the greatest love. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you received a lot of value from this uh, chanting and service today. As with all of these live stream videos, it is recorded, which means you can go back and watch it again. I recommend that. Because if you watch it again, what is the possibility of you going deeper in your forgiveness? What is the possibility of you going deeper in your love for your divine creator? What is the possibility of you saving more lives? Do you think the divine will say, nope, only gonna save one lifetime, that's it? I don't think so. My understanding is our beloved divine creator has unconditional love and wants you to connect deeper and farther. So I hope that you do this more. Listen to this again. Make it a part of your daily practice. You will receive huge blessings. More than that, 
I encourage you to purchase this book, The Greatest Love. It's only ten, twelve dollars off Amazon. You might even be able to find some less if you get amused. And um, get this book and have the calligraphy in front of you and trace it directly while I am chanting with you and with the divine. Because when you trace it directly, you could get even more blessings. Okay? So, let us offer our gratitude. We thank our beloved divine creator, divine Tao source, all beings of light who came to offer their service here today. We thank our beloved mother, earth, the sun, and the moon. We thank our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, and our own soul. We offer our most humble gratitude for the blessings, the wisdom, the release. We thank all the souls who have forgiven us. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. So I will see you all Tuesday next week. I encourage you to uh, continue to come, to continue to serve, continue to chant. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Aloha everyone. Bye-bye.